Hello everybody, welcome back to your channel Echo Engineering. We want to continue our topics which was algorithmic trading with Python in this video and we want to talk about another library named Pandas Tech TA which stands for Pandas Technical Analysis and we are going to talk about how we can use uh, technical indicators by using this library. First of all, you need to have already installed Pandas TA, Vifinance and pandas library you can install them by using exclamation mark deep three and then install and then the name of the library and after installing them we start our programming and we say okay import pandas as pd and then import y finance as yf then import pandas ta as ta shift enter we don't have any error it means we have install these libraries correctly now we want to download the data for for example meta and to do so we use y finance or yf to download this data frame we call our data frame equal to yf dot download here we use download and the ticker we want to be equal to the ticker of meta and start date we want to be we want it be to for example from 2023 zero one zero one and end date we can give it an end date exactly with the same format that we have here they are date and time uh, object but if we don't give any end date it would be it means that you go and just return all the data to the current date okay i don't give it any date but i want it to have interval and the interval i want it to be equal to for example one hour if i press shift and enter and call my data frame it returns us this data frame which each of these rows are corresponding to one hour candlestick in when interval is one hour it means all candles would be for one hour and we are in the hourly time frame so now we have our data frame with the date time index the index is date time and open high low close adjusted close and volume we mostly work with the adjusted close, but along with each of these columns, I want to add the RSI column, moving average column, and Bullinger Bands columns here too. And to do so, we use the TA library. Okay. Uh, first, we say TA that's RSI, and if I press Shift and Tab, I have the data which attributes this method get. And first of all, the close, I want the close be adjusted close. It means go and calculate the RSI for adjusted close. We can say, okay, close is equal to low. And it means go and calculate the RSI for the low of each candle. But normally we do it for adjusted close. And in this case, we do it for adjusted close too. So I would say close is equal to DF, our adjusted close. And then we have length. Length is equal to 14. It means calculate rsi for 14 time frame for 14 uh, candle okay if i press i can say okay our data frame add a new column to that and call it rsi 14 and then it is equal to this technical analysis rsi and the method is filled like the uh, attributes of this method is filled like that if i press shift and enter and call my data frame we have another data frame now and another column name RSI is added to that. But for the first 14 candle, because we don't have access to the candle prior to this date, then we cannot, we don't have any data for the first 14 candle, but then RSI will be written for the other candles after the 14th. But if, for example, I press two here and write two, and now I only don't have data for the first two candles and from the third candle because the third candle RSI can be calculated based on the, for the prior two candles. So we would have RSI for the third candle. But now I change it again to 14 because we want to have RSI for the period of 14. This is how we add RSI for the, to this data frame. Now we want to add our, we want to add, for example, moving average. And to do so, we say again, our data frame we add another column name ema for example again 14 or we can say 21 for, just to calculate the moving average for 21st 21 period and it is equal to ta dot 
EMA and again close is equal to our data frame we want to calculate it based on our adjusted close so we enter adjusted close here and length we want to be 21 and I, I press shift and enter and call my data frame another column is added but in this case the first 21st 21st rows don't have any data from the 22nd rows we will have the data for moving average so this is what we have here but we can use help to see the data of this for example EMA if I press help ta.ema it will tell us how this function can be initialized and what what kind of attributes that method and what kind of inputs this method has close it has close length offset and so on but more importantly it returns a series for us it means it only returns us one column we can uh, we can translate a series like one column for data frame but now we want to do it for Bullinger band and I want to see what does how does Bullinger band works and if I call Bullinger bands with help then it turn it tells us okay the Bullinger bands method had has these inputs we should close and length the same with what we had before and then standard deviation and these other inputs but more importantly what does it return this Bullinger band uh, returns as a data frame which includes the lower band mid band upper band bandwidth and person columns so it's not only one column it's actually one, two, three, four, five columns. It returns as five columns. Let's test it together. We say T that Bullinger band and uh, close. I want it to be equal to this adjusted close that we had here. I just copy and paste it because I don't want to spell it wrong. And length, I want to be, I want it to be to 14. If I press shift and enter, yeah, here it should be df adjusted close shift and enter it will return us this data frame this is the data frame for our bullinger band and we have our data frame too now i wanna stick this bullinger band data frame to our main data frame so we have other rows here we, to do so we use pandas concatenate okay we already imported pandas as pd so we say PD and in PD, which is the pandas, we have concatenate method. We use it, and here, if I press shift and uh, shift and tab, this is the doc stream. For this doc stream, it call it says it has an object access. If access is equal to zero, we will stick these two data frame or concatenate them uh, from the row. But when the access is equal to one, it means concatenate or stick them together from the columns so we say we you up the axis should be one and we don't work with the other inputs just the object is important too the object here in this case is a list of two data frame the first data frame that we have and i call what we have here as bb data frame run it again it means our bullinger band data frame and I want to stick our first data frame and our Bullinger band data frame together while axis is equal to true. Okay. And I want to my data frame be equal to this data frame. It means our new data frame would be combination of main data frame and Bullinger band data frame. Shift and enter. We call our data frame again and we can see that now we have this data frame after RSI and moving average the Bullinger band data frame are sticked and concatenated to our main data frame here our data frame had eight row eight columns but now we can see that we have 13 columns so this is how we work and work with a different data frames with pandas ta but we can have access to everything and we can 
say for example help.df.ta and then press shift and enter it will bring us all the data for this technical analysis uh, library but more importantly we can say df.ta.indicators like that shift and enter and with this help and this command we can see the list of all indicators that this library has for example here we have our bullinger band aberration a bow and everything for example mfi money flow index i think and everything you can you can uh, this these are all those uh indicators that this technical analysis support along with the candlesticks pattern you can so i hope you enjoyed this video please do not forget to hit the like button by doing so uh youtube algorithm will introduce us to those who are interested in these topics too i wish you a good day bye